Welcome to this video about the incredible Buran spacecraft, a pinnacle of Soviet space technology. In this video, we will take an in-depth look at the Buran program, its design and features, the maiden flight, and the legacy it left behind. The Buran program was initiated by the Soviet Union in the 1970s as a response to the United States Space Shuttle program. The goal of the Buran was to develop a spacecraft that was reusable, could carry crew and cargo to low Earth orbit, and return to Earth like an airplane. The Buran program was an ambitious undertaking that involved the collaboration of many Soviet organizations and research institutes. The Buran spacecraft was an impressive feat of engineering, with a length of 36 meters and a wingspan of 23.9 meters. The spacecraft had a maximum takeoff weight of 105 tons and could carry up to 30 tons of cargo. The Buran was equipped with a robotic arm, a cargo bay that could accommodate large payloads, and an advanced guidance and navigation system that allowed it to dock with other spacecraft in orbit. The Buran also had an efficient liquid-fueled rocket engine, which was more efficient than the solid rocket boosters used in the United States Space Shuttle program. The first and only flight of the Buran occurred on November 15, 1988. The spacecraft lifted off from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan and flew autonomously, controlled by the Advanced Automatic Control System. The flight was unmanned, but it was a significant milestone in the Buran program's history. The Buran completed two orbits of the Earth and landed safely back at the Cosmodrome. The flight was a success, demonstrating the Buran's advanced automatic control system capabilities. Despite the program's short lifespan, the Buran program represented a significant achievement in Soviet space technology. The Buran spacecraft's unique design and engineering have inspired generations of aerospace engineers, and its legacy lives on today in the development of new spacecraft and technologies. The Buran program may have ended prematurely, but its impact on the history of space exploration cannot be denied. The Buran spacecraft's automatic control system, was one of the most advanced of its time. The system consisted of three primary components, an autopilot, an onboard computer, and a guidance and navigation system. The autopilot controlled the spacecraft's flight path and maintained its stability during ascent and descent. The onboard computer managed the spacecraft's various systems and executed commands from the ground. The guidance and navigation system used sensors to determine the spacecraft's position and velocity in space. Together, these components formed a highly advanced and capable automatic control system that enabled the Buran spacecraft to fly autonomously. Thank you for watching this video about the Buran spacecraft. The Buran program was an ambitious undertaking that demonstrated the Soviet Union's technological prowess in the field of aerospace engineering. The Buran spacecraft's advanced design and capabilities continue to inspire new generations of engineers and scientists. Once again, thank you for watching.